Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. So as you can see in the camera, I have got my beautiful uh, full body silicone baby girl Elizabeth with me today. And uh, it's not a sunny day, but it is a very humid, humid day. So she has been hanging out in her um, just in her diaper and her hand mitts so she doesn't scratch her little face and she's in her bouncy She loves her bouncy Here on the bed in the nursery and I've just been doing chores you know um, Going through some drawers and just refolding clothing and and that type of thing and yeah, she's just been <laughs> Just hanging out in her cute little, with her cute little belly and her little belly button. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm telling you. Like, I just, I just lose my mind over this baby girl. Um, if you have not met her, which I'm sure you guys all have, but um, she is the Hannah Sculpt by Bonnie Sieben. Um, and she was incredibly painted and rooted by the incredibly talented Tina Bloomfield, who, as we speak, is working on her sister. Um, well, probably not actually painting her. She just arrived yesterday. If you're interested to see, um, uh, Elizabeth's sister's sculpt, you can go over to, um, Bloomfield's Bonnie Babes Nursery. I'm pretty sure that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, and, and she did a video yesterday showing, um, oh, the, the opening of the sculpt that is going to be, um, Elizabeth's sister. So, um, but you know, it's very different, different coloring, different hair, you know, very different, different colored eyes. Um, she's going to be very different, but, um, but a sister nonetheless for her and Ella Rose. Anyway, I am going to, oh my gosh, you guys, I have so much to tell you. I don't even know where to get started. Anyway. Um, sorry, just had to take a drink of my sparkling water. I am going to get her dressed. It's going to be painful because, I mean, I just can't even. Like, look at this. Look at this chokey bokey squishy belly. Oh, my gosh. You so in these little leggies. Look at these little leggies. They're so soft. Anyway, I don't want to get her dressed. But, you know, just to keep her safe, it's better for her to have clothing on. And honestly, I'm dying to see what this outfit looks like on her. So I'm going to put this little, um, little off-white onesie on her. And then with it, I'm going to put this gorgeous little dress with a beautiful smocking and the little, um, embroidered rosebuds like look at that you guys is that not gonna look so gorgeous on her oh my gosh oh, I have a very excite I have very exciting news to share with you guys very exciting news and I was if wondering I was wondering if I should wait but um you know I I'm really bad about keeping secrets. Well, it's not a secret, but I mean, I'm really bad about keeping information to myself. As long as it's not, you know, I've been asked to keep it in, you know, confidential, of course. I mean, being a retired constable, I know all about confidentiality and confidentiality agreements. I mean, that was my whole life. And, you know, I'm still under um, confidentiality agreements for many of my cases anyway um I have something very exciting happening at the <laughs> I have something very exciting happening here at the cottage 
something very oh my gosh you guys this is so exciting like I don't I just don't even know how to say it out loud it's so big and yeah it's so big it's so big it's so big it's so exciting but okay I will just just uh, let me just get this over her head because it's so stressful. You guys know how nervous I am about dressing her. Um, okay, here it is. <sighs> Friends, sisters, I am getting a Claire Taylor silicone baby. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is actually going to happen for me. And if it wasn't for one of my absolute, absolute most dearest, dearest friends, it never would have happened, you know, just because of the, the uh, price of, um, the price of Claire Taylor babies. It just never would have happened for me, you know. You guys know, um, you know, to to bring her home. Um, well, she was a gift from my husband, and um, <laughs> she was a gift from my husband, and because he wanted to attract her so badly, so that was kind of a one-off situation, and um, and you know, I was able to um, bring her home, but. And my current silicone baby that's being that's with Tina Bloomfield right now, I had to sell um I just sell quite a few of my babies to make that happen. Um, you know, the nursery's looking pretty empty these days. But um so you know, with um with my um baby that's being created with Tina Bloomfield right now. Um, I had to sell a whole lot of babies to make that happen because, um, you know, I wasn't able to make payments and I had to come up with the money. So, um, you know, it wasn't one of those situations where, you know, you're purchasing from a friend, you know, I had, I bought the sculpt from the, from a company that, uh, just wants their money like now. So that meant, you know, some really big sacrifices. You know, I, I had to rehome Joy, who is my Maisie sculpt, and you guys all know how much I love Joy. I still love Joy. Uh, and I'm glad she's with one of my, you know, one of my jolly friends. And I do get to see pictures of her on Facebook, but it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's hard to see her on uh, my ladies' Facebook group. And, you know, she's not here with me. It's... Anyway, back to the huge news. A very dear friend of mine um, has made the decision to part with her Claire Taylor baby. Um, I think, yeah. <laughs> I'm so, you know what, you guys, I'm so excited I can hardly talk about it. Um, and we were talking yesterday and she was telling me she had, and she has a beautiful silicone collection, a quite a beautiful, uh, you know, a beautiful silicone, a beautiful reborn collection, a beautiful silicone collection. Um, anyway, she, we were talking yesterday and she said that she was considering rehoming her Claire Taylor baby and um I you know immediately said I oh my gosh I would absolutely love love to be her new mummy but I am going to need to make payments um you know and not like a short term kind of a payment plan <laughs> more of a long-term kind of payment plan and um, her being you know a, a, a very close friend she agreed 
I mean, she didn't have to. She could very easily sell her, you know, put her on eBay or the Claire Taylor um, Facebook site and sell her probably in about five minutes because she is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but because she is a very dear friend and we share a very uh, close, you know, bond, um, she agreed that she would do this for me. <laughs> I literally, I could just start crying right now, you guys. I really could. I could just start crying because, you know, that's, you guys know that I'm retired and, you know, I, I'm on a pension. My husband still works, of course, but, um, but you know, we've got this farm and I, every time I turn around, the farm needs something. We have an old farmhouse and, um, yeah. So it just wasn't in the cards for me to own a Claire Taylor baby. And the, you know, the silicones I do have, I, I had to really part with, um, you know, babies in my nursery to make that happen. And uh, because, you know, I, I needed to buy, I could wasn't able to make payments. So I had to, you know, come up with the money fairly quickly. Oh my gosh, I've got to sit this girl up here. I'm going to sit her up. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. I'm not putting anything on her feet. Um, I'm not putting anything on her feet because it's so humid. It's just so humid and I think she just looks so cute. <laughs> Just with her little bare feetsies. I'm going to take her hand mitts off just so she, you can see her. I tend to keep these on a lot. I don't know why. It, this, it just, her hands are very delicate and it just gives me some kind of feeling of, um, I don't know, comfort, I guess. Like it makes me feel like they're protected. I know I've asked, um, I've asked my friend um, Marisol and I've asked my friend Spring Flower about, you know, their, their babies, their silicone babies. Um, they both have absolutely stunning babies and I've asked them, you know, do they leave hammets on their babies and they both have said, no, they don't. So there is really no rhyme or reason to it. I think it's just me being overprotective. I've got this cute little um, Advent um, a newborn baby pale pink pacifier on this gorgeous silicone clip. Look how cute that is. Isn't that, you know what? I was actually going to get a custom clip made for her like I did for Ella Rose when I first got Ella Rose. And I found this at London Drugs, like at a local pharmacy. I bought one for myself and one for my um, for my friend Jenny. And uh, and um, they're made out of silicone. I think they're so beautiful that I almost didn't even think, you know, I really needed to order a, um, a one with name on it because I just I was so pleased with how pretty this was. But I don't know. I was kind of thinking about because I'm really big on nicknames I know some people aren't in our family we're huge on nicknames you guys oh my goodness gracious we are huge on nicknames like nobody gets called what their name is <laughs> like nor do our dogs like and nor do any of our pets like I don't know why we're just really big and like my close friends um I don't call them by their names like um, Christy from CJ's Little um, Ducklings, I call her Sunny. <laughs> you know, like I, I, yeah, she's just my sunshine. I don't know. I, I call her Sunny. I call um, my friend Bren from um, my We Reborns Cradles, I, uh, Cradle, I call her Bren. Brenda? I mean, her name is Brenda, but I call her Bren. Um, Oh my gosh, who else? Well, Spring Flower, I just call her Beautiful Sis. And yeah, it's, and poor Jenny, she gets Jen, or sometimes I call her Jen Jen. Um, yeah, and you know what, our dogs, uh, we have three dogs, and they have beautiful names that we were, you know, very carefully selected. Um, our Rottweiler, her name is Mia, and um, we call her Squish. 
because <laughs> she's got like all that jowly, wrinkly skin on her face. And Daisy, um, our old, old Chihuahua girl, we don't call her Daisy. I mean, it's such a beautiful name, but no, we call her, <laughs> we call her Chibi. <laughs> Because she's a Chihuahua, and I don't know, somehow, Chi 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 B, I don't know how that all, I think it was because it started out with, you know, Chai Baby, and then it got shortened to Chi B. And poor Layla, <laughs> poor Layla, oh, Layla, <laughs> she gets called Lala, <laughs> my grandkids. Or sometimes I just call her La. My grandkids call her Lala. Like, they won't even call her Layla. So, yeah, we're really big on the... Even my bunny, Marshall. We call... We all... Everyone in the family, including my husband, calls him Marshy. Like, if he calls from um, his part of Canada where he works, he'll say, how's Marshy? <laughs> I know. We're weirdos. I don't know where that comes from. My dad was really big on nicknames. Like, I had a nickname... Oh, our grandkids. Oh, my gosh. We call our grandson Boo, um, short for Boo Boo Bear, and we call our granddaughter um, Princess. So yeah, I don't I don't even know. I mean, where those where that well, I mean, Boo Boo Bear, Trey loved teddy bears as a little guy, so I think that's kind of where that started. And then with Nova, um, I don't know. She is a she's such a princess, you guys. She's such a diva. Like, Princess is perfect for her. She's all about, you know, her outfits, her dresses, her hair. Oh, gosh, she's a character. Anyway, so that's what's happening in the nursery, you guys. I have started the payment process on a my first and only Claire Taylor baby. So I started out with... Um, you know, being really excited about purchasing this sculpt and sending it off to Tina Bloomfield um, to, um, you know, turn into another beautiful baby like this gorgeous girl. Um, I started out with that and just was like absolutely over in the moon. And then, of course, I sent off my um, sage, playful sage and happy sage to the amazing Jill um, to, to custom reborn for me. So, you know, three babies coming home. I was like, wow, Julie, like you're really, you're really out of control. <laughs> and then this opportunity pops up yesterday and just, oh my gosh, you know what, you guys, I, <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, my head's like spinning around on my neck. I'm so beyond excited and, and, and not, you know, excited, but just feeling so blessed, like so blessed, so blessed. Like, please, you know, if you're watching this and you're thinking, wow, like, you know, you're, you're going to have that many new, new babies, please know that I do not take my, um, Oh my gosh, never. I, I do not take my blessings for granted, ever. I know how blessed I am. Um, I know how blessed I am. And, uh, you know, and I don't take it for granted. You know, I worked really, I've worked really, really hard in my life for the things that I have. My husband and I both. But, but I also don't take for granted the blessings that, that I have. Not for one second. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care.